Hey, it's Brad. And if you like me and love looking at the stars, well, you may have noticed a very special thing happening in our early morning skies. And that is a planetary lineup. Very rarely do you get to say the planets are aligning and it's actually true. So if you wake up in the early morning, about an hour to an hour and a half before sunrise, so maybe 4.30, 4.45 a.m. before the sun has risen, and you look towards the east where the sun's gonna rise because like the sun, all the planets rise in the east and set in the west in our sky, you will see four bright dots in a line. And these four bright dots are planets. Now, depending on when you look, you may actually see the moon in on the action as well, similar in this line. But we're going to focus on the planets and why they form a line, because we know our solar system is spinning and we know the planets are moving around, but why are they aligned in our nighttime sky? Well, we need to look at how these planets are physically moving around our sun. So this is going to be our sun, just a little camping torch. I will let there be light. Now we have Venus, and just like Venus, our lemon is a bit sour and not many people like it. We have the red planet Mars, which is also small. We have our Jupiter, everyone loves Jupiter, with a nice spot. And, well, uh, my pair Saturn doesn't have rings, but it is sweet like Saturn. So, let's first look at the Sun and Venus. Now, the camera is going to be Earth, so you are on planet Earth, I think everyone watching this is on Earth, and the camera will be Earth. Now, the Earth is going around the Sun, and so is Venus. But Venus is closer to the Sun than Earth is. So, Venus goes around the Sun, that's not surprising. Now, firstly, remember, these planets are so far away that instead of appearing as a big planet, they actually just look at it as a really small, sometimes bright, sometimes faint dot. You know, the moon is only 384,000 kilometers away from us. Venus is tens of millions of kilometers. Jupiter, hundreds of millions, and Saturn, billions. So they're only going to look at as really small dots in the nighttime sky, which is how you're going to see it. So right now, Venus is in our evening, nighttime sky. And so when you go out around 4.30, 5 a.m., you'll see it. And the sun hasn't risen. It's not daytime yet. Now, as the sun rises and we have daytime, Venus is still in the sky, but because the sun is so much brighter, way brighter than anything in the nighttime sky, we only see the sun. Now, we also know and have talked about Venus goes around the sun. So at other times throughout the year, Venus is on this side of the sun. What does that mean? Well, at nighttime, both Venus and the sun are not up. As the sun rises and it's daytime, Venus still hasn't risen. And as the day goes a little bit longer, Venus and the sun are both up. It's still daytime. But again, because the sun is so much brighter, we don't see Venus. But in these cases, Venus is still following the sun. As the sun goes across the sky, we now have sunset. So it's now in the evening. The sun is set in the west. It's now evening dark time. But Venus is still in the sky. So you know what? We see it. And so this is why we sometimes call Venus the evening star. And that is because it's only visible in the evening and only visible in the west. Or we can have it as the morning star, visible in the east and in the morning. So it's, Venus is a really special object as viewed compared to the other planets because of how it moves around the sun as viewed from Earth. Whether it's in the morning, in the east, or in the evening, in the west. But we have more than our sour lemon Venus. We have other planets in the nighttime sky. So we have Mars, our red plum. Now again, Venus is close to the sun, and Mars is really, really, really far away. And it goes around the sun, and actually, in fact, it goes around the sun past Earth, so we go behind our camera, but my arms aren't that long. So when we see it in the nighttime sky, it looks like Mars and Venus are really right next to each other, but really, they're really, 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 really far away, hundreds of millions of kilometers. But we have more than Mars. We have Jupiter with our spot. And again, Mars is closer to the sun and Jupiter is really far away. And it goes even further around. And then we have our sweet Saturn. And again, Jupiter is closer and Saturn is further away. So even though they look like they're next to each other, they're really, really far away. And when we put all planets together, we have Jupiter, Saturn, our lemon, 
and Mars. Well, what we're actually seeing is something like this. I'll do it a little bit better this way. So we have our planets here. We have Venus, Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter. And as viewed from the camera, it almost looks like they're right next to each other. But again, they're spread out over quite now billions of kilometers. So we see them as a little bit of a line in across the sky, and it looks like they're right next to each other. But they're actually so far away. And it's all because of the perspective of the Earth and the fact that the planets go around in a circle around the sun. So it's kind of a really cool thing when we get to see this planetary alignment. We're getting to see the shape of our solar system and a bit of perspective, all because of how we view it from Earth. And yes, if you were to live on Mars, you could also see these alignments. The alignments would include not Mars, though. It would include Earth. So the cool thing about this alignment is there's lots of great activities to do with kids and adults alike. So get out all your lemons and your apples. If you have a banana, I don't know what that will be, but banana can be, I don't know, Neptune or something. Let's do a few activities. Now, the, the a bit more basic one, geared towards uh, late primary age. When is the next time this alignment is going to happen? So, a, a clue. What we need to know is how long it takes the planets to go around the sun. We know Earth goes around every 365 days. Uh, Venus a bit quicker. Mercury's every 88 days. Mars a little bit longer. Uh, Jupiter is almost every 12 years. So for every year on Earth, it takes 12 Earth years, just almost that, 11.86 years to get around the sun. Saturn, because it's much further away, even longer. It's a bit over 29 years to do one orbit around the sun. So how often does this planetary lineup happen? And again, another clue is you probably don't need to worry about Earth and Mars and Venus because they go around so relatively quick. They're often in the sky together. It is Jupiter and Saturn that are the tricks here. So again, it's about 12 years for Jupiter and about 29 years for Saturn. If you want a bit more of a challenge, maybe in high school, imagine you're a Martian astronaut. What does the sky look like to you? You're outside. When are you looking? And noting that the day on Mars is about 25 hours, it's very similar to a day on Earth. What does the sky and lineup of planets look like to you? Where is Earth? Where is Saturn? Where is Jupiter? Is the order the same? Is it a little bit different? And again, how often does it happen on Mars? Well, the answer may not be surprising, but maybe it would be. And if you want an extra, extra special challenge for those keen people out there, what's Mercury up to? And what I mean by that is, when is Mercury where is it? And if and when will it join this planetary lineup? And what about Neptune? Neptune is way, 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 way further than Saturn. It's over 160 years for Neptune to do one loop around the solar system. Where's Neptune in all this? And so this is the great thing about this planetary lineup. You can figure out how often does it happen? What would it look like to be on another planet? And where are the other planets like Mercury and Neptune in this planetary lineup? So feel free to have fun. I would love to hear what you do with this. Make sure to post in the comments some of your results and make sure to like and subscribe both on YouTube and Facebook to keep to up to date and see more videos and activities.